Hi there, everybody. This is Ken Walker with Killer Video Squeeze Pages. Number two. Listen, folks, we have been listening to your feedback, and we have created something that I think is simply going to take this over the top. Because what we have lined up for you, I've got to basically redo my training because of the extra things that we have thrown in. I'm talking about you now have a web template with a header and a footer and you can just change whatever you want in the middle so you can do your own home page if you want you can do extra content you can do anything that you want with that you also get a blog header thanks to Dave came up with some really slick stuff right there so you can set up a WordPress blog and then have your custom header match that blog maybe tweak some color things to make it all blend in real nice and you're totally set to go you can start building content work on that SEO right uh, and that's that's where we're getting a lot of our free traffic we've also got this is possibly uh, one of the nicest features that we have added here is that now instead of just plain dry generic uh, follow-up emails and instead of just a simple download where uh, you know you give them a PDF or something that has an ebook that they can read a couple pages about something instead of that folks what you're gonna get is a full video training follow-up you're gonna give this away now trust me I have gone to great lengths to make sure that the videos have actual value. In other words, it could be packaged and sold because it does provide helpful information. But you're going to be able to give this away. I'm also going to show you how you can uh, utilize uh, what's called a subdomain instead of having to register new domains all the time. I'm going to show you how you can do that in your cPanel and how you can use other autoresponders instead of just a Weber. All of that is lined up in this video course. I'm basically going to be going over the whole setup of putting one of these online and all the things that you need to customize and how you can get it uploaded. All right, I'll see you in the next video. What we're going to talk about in this video is setting up subdomains and the reason this is so important is because obviously with uh, you know setting up five new websites every single month with some people especially just starting out in this they don't want to go to the trouble of or the expense I should say of registering those five new domains every single month now I gotta be honest with you I'm into AdSense and uh, a lot of other different affiliate offers and for me to set up 10 15 or 20 websites a month is nothing including the registration of the domains but I am sympathetic and I understand how a lot of people don't want to be doing that so let me tell you a little bit about the difference between first of all I'm in my cPanel here cPanel is probably the most popular backend for hosting okay you may have something different if you're on GoDaddy this is going to be different for you as far as the actual implementation but the same basic functionality is there uh, but what we want to do is scroll down here where it says domains we have add-on domains and we have subdomains with the add-on domains what I get is one real hosting account I can go out and register another domain name and point that here and then I just add that as an add-on domain. We talked about that in the first training and that's obviously the preferred method because you get the real dedicated domain. Okay, What we're going to do this time though is if you don't want to register that domain you can go off of your main account and you add what's called a subdomain. This puts a folder on your hosting account and then in order to access it you do like the new site you added dot your old domain name dot com you know that kind of thing and I'll show you an example of it here in a second I'll click subdomains my main account here is best dash iPod dash accessories dot com by the way if you're looking to buy any iPod accessories please go to that site and click the link there 